Hello everybody and welcome to yet another video. As you can see from the intro I have bought myself a horse but that's not why we're here. We're here in the Crypt of Hearts, a pretty tough dungeon designed for players between level 28 and 31 and I suggest you prepare. Enchant your weapon, get yourself some food and you're good to go. First boss, the Mage Masher. He has a few adds, who are not surprisingly mages. And let me show you what happens if you don't deal with them. Pretty much your tank gets slaughtered. And not long after, your group gets slaughtered as well. So instead of going directly for the boss, have your DPS kill off the adds first. So on the right you see the guy with the two swords adding for the mages, while on the left we have our archer taking down the mages on my left. Once they're done they will join me for the boss. And I could have blocked that one. And with the adds down, the boss is not that hard anymore, as you can see here. The second boss, Archmaster Simiel, is a necromancer. You can see all the dead bodies lying around on the floor. At some point during the fight he will resurrect them. And he has three abilities that you should watch out for. The first you can see on the left. It's his AoE, uh, Dark Clouds, Red Circle pretty bad spot to be in. This is his second ability which is raising the dead. And those adds should be taken care of at some point because he doesn't stop raising them. And once there are too many they will practically kill everybody so it's good to kill off at least a few every time. Just use some AoE and make sure your healer stays alive. And this is the third ability, which is a fear. He just fears the party for like two seconds. And then you can just return to your spots. I'm actually standing in the AoE here. I didn't notice at the time, but I'm lucky the boss is dead just in time or I would have been. This is the Death's Leviathan, a really fun boss and actually one of the reasons this instance is a lot more challenging than the previous ones you've encountered. This is a, a typical boss that has not that much abilities but the ones he does have are very effective and especially his AoE 
is devastating. Just look at the health of the party and you can see what the impact is of that AOE. Especially here. Now that he's got flames. He kills half the party instantly while everybody was at full health. Which, as you might have guessed, will cause a wipe because with two people you cannot kill this boss. Well, maybe you can if I could actually do some DPS, but I'm not very good at doing DPS. So perhaps we're a bit unlucky that our remaining team member wasn't able to get him down. It's very close. second try. So I'll go more in depth of the tactics and probably the best way of tanking this dude. Because what you should know is he does two things. First there is his charge which is this. And it is usually followed by his massive AOE attack. Sometimes however he charges twice. And what you should know about the charge is that it is always directed at the person who he is attacking, which should be the tank. So the tank is able to sort of stare the boss, decide where he's gonna go, but the tank has to run as well, of course. So charges like this, in the middle of the room, followed by an AoE, can be pretty bad. So, when he's got like 50% health left, he starts giving himself this buff, a fire buff. Pretty easy to notice. His AoE does even more damage and his charges leave a trail of fire. And he also gets faster. The more you damage him, the faster he gets. Fortunately, the next boss Ukar Bonand is not very tough. He's a Lich or a Lich King or something like that and he does AoE damage but it doesn't really hurt and he doesn't have a lot of health. So we've got some ranged DPS and they can just keep firing while I'm actually trying to avoid as many AoEs as possible. But we got him down pretty quickly. Besides those AoEs, there's not much else to it. Dogas the Berserker only has 5k health and a few adds, so we thought, well, how hard can it be, right? Well, let me show you how hard it can be. Pretty hard. This is not lag, by the way. This is just a stun. He does an AoE stun and at the same time leeches health from everybody who is near him. Uh, that was a pretty fast wipe. So 
so let's try again. As soon as our party member summoned his ad, uh, the clan fear started attacking, basically causing another wipe because we were not prepared for that. So once again, you can see if the boss is in the middle of your group, there's just no way you can defeat him. You really have to take this guy away from your party. And that's what we're doing here. So I use a ranged attack on the boss. He will come to me while the party will take care of the ads. So that way they will not get stunned all the time. And can actually heal me and kill the ads. And once they've done that, everybody will focus on the boss. Now as a Dragon Knight you have an ability called Immovable, which I don't have equipped here, but I should have. And that makes you immune to stuns for up to 8 seconds. It's a very useful skill. I've actually done another run with that skill equipped and it makes this boss so much easier. Because you're actually able to tank and aggro him. Still, with the as dead. He is killable, especially if, if you get a few seconds to do some decent DPS. He only has 5k health after all. The final bosses are twins I suppose, or at least brothers. One of them is a fire mage. He will move to the middle and start casting all kinds of fire spells. He does this regular fireball attack. He has an AoE that will cover the, the middle ring. And he does fireball spells. So, what you should do is have your tank pick up the other guy. Who wields a two-handed axe. Does some lightning attacks and basically the rest he does is power attacks so you should have your party kill the fire mage while your tank focuses on the guy with the two-handed axe it's advisable to tank this guy in the outer ring so you won't get bothered by all the AOE And I also could have blocked a few more of those power attacks, I suppose. So now the fire mage is dead. And everybody focuses on this boss. Uh, when his brother dies, he gets enraged. And he fills the whole room with these small lightning bolts. You should try to avoid them and keep your DPS up. Kill the boss. And that's basically it.